Here we have a design from a uh, kind Daniel Shaw uh, with a special symbol of a creation uh, story in Amer Native American culture. I think it's supposed to be a tree with the uh, sun, like an arm, in the sky, and uh, the water and the turtle was represented by the circle. So it's like a creation of land. He just talked to me on the phone and uh, he said he's honored to be recorded uh, with this uh, workshop. So thank you, Daniel, for uh, mm -hmm. doing that. So I'm going to transfer this uh, design onto the stone. So I dropped the paper with the print on, on the stone, uh, positioning it correctly. You can, you can do it in two ways. One is like uh, you stand on it. Uh, let's do that. Maybe <laughs> it's a more direct. Uh, you can also do it like I did, uh, drop it. So you cannot really see the uh, position. And then you, I use the liquid on the back of the uh, design. So maybe I, I use, I tried both ways. If this does not work, I use the other way. I usually do the other way. So this is also, you, you make a, like a mark uh, first and then just shoot. This is called acetone. It's a nail polish remover. You get it from cosmetic type <laughs> stores. And uh, let me see, which is the side. Okay, this is the the front, the dragon head towards the left or towards me, the user. I just make a stamp on the stone. <laughs> it's not perfect. Maybe we do it again. I like the other way better. What was wrong with it? Um, it is off, off. Uh, oh. It's a little off the square. Mm. That's the main problem. It, it could be okay, and then I use a, a marker pen to trace it. But the position was not perfect. That's why I want to redo it. Um, it's very difficult to stamp, to use you know the stamp method. I notice you don't rub off the you don't clean oh, it before yeah. you do that. Good good observation. I realized that makes the print better with the powder. Oh if they leave the powder on there. Yeah, them. yes. So I, I rub it like that and uh, the liquid is very uh, easy to evaporate, right? so trans uh, to penetrate through the paper very easily. So it penetrate, penetrate to the other side. Uh, I, I use excessive, give me more time. If you use less, you dry too fast. So I use a little bit more than I need. Before it gets dry, press. You can use the scrubber, the plastic or something, and then take it off, as if I made a print on the, on the stone. Mm -hmm. And the best part of this is the laser print uh, will not be erased with a, hand, uh, with a wet hand finger. <coughs> it, it will, it's much better than ink, actually. It's very stable. It's like a print on the stone. So you can also use uh, uh, marker pen to to um, enhance it if something missing. But this is so good, I, I just keep it. So I'm going to use a small knife and a uh, okay. I have some medium uh, knife that's uh, for student. You can have one of each to practice. And you can notice this is not the best uh, quality one, and uh, you can try mine also to compare. Uh, some students become serial engraver themselves after uh, they learn from me. Uh, 
some realize difficulty in become uh, my customers. <laughs> I don't know which <laughs> result will be, but uh, uh, today's your maybe once of life chance uh, to try at least. Uh, so I use a medium knife to begin with on the margin, and you notice the uh, the cut has a two sides, one is rough, which is on the outside of the, the knife. I call this uh, this right hand side. Because uh, I hold the knife or the chisel at an angle. Uh, don't hold the knife this way. So this you only cut a single line. Those, most students do this. You can use that to, to define the, the margin. You can see this is not working. So I cut with the angle, so it's about uh, 35, uh, 45 or more uh, degrees, uh, maybe linked on, on the outside. So this will give me a wider cut. And you can see the cut has uh, one smooth side on this side, on the outside, and one uh, rough side, right? So the, the smooth side always close to the, to the line the design, okay? Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, let me do a change. Because the customer uh, wants to have the border in uh, rectangular shape, not in the square. So, because this is his signature, his logo, you know? So I want to keep that. We should still have that. <laughs> so, and also in in the legend, uh, the story, uh, I think it is important to keep all the arms and legs touched to the ground, or the water and the sky, so connected. So we're going to keep that design. Maybe I have not enough. Okay, that's the original. <coughs> Let's see if I have enough. Improvisation is always my philosophy of artwork. So something has to be accidental. It takes a lot of hand strength. Yeah, it, it takes muscle to do it. More than uh, soap. <laughs> it's not a, it's a stone, you know, it's not a, a soft uh, object. So it, it's not a rubber stain. So you, you use a more force than you think.
but mm. it, it used to it used it for anolium. Mm. I think uh, I, I made a mistake already, so it, let me show you how to <laughs> erase it. Same paper, oh, I used a rough one to erase and then use a uh, uh, pretty fine. Yeah, fine one to, it, it has numbers on this. Yeah, yeah, I think it has numbers. Yeah, this is for polishing and this is for, this is too rough. This, is, this, this one is good. This, this one is good for erasing. So just erase it. I hope you, uh, it, it will help you to, because the first time always uh, just a test. You know. If you're lucky, you may get it. Yeah, the first time. So you, you may do it uh, later yourself. Just take one minute to erase it. Then I use the. Uh, Okay, I use this uh, zero, maybe. What is this number? Two, two, two twenty. This is a fine one. I use circular movement. Okay. You can change the size. Ch sometimes you have, it's hard to. Keep them, uh, better put it on the hard uh, table. You don't need to press that hard, just keep even pressure. So make sure there's no stroke left. So it's clean. You can start over again. Um, this time I make sure that I modify the design before I cut. Because the design should be exactly you want. Uh, if if there's a modification, you should be you should die, you know, have it done on computer. Uh, so my sorter is uh, good to, to you know, make it uh, square, but uh, after uh, I contact uh, uh, the designer, he liked to keep the original border as a, as a rectangular. As a so show you this again. Maybe you can do this while you're watching. <laughs> your, your, you can use your your uh, seal to follow this step. Okay, just close that. They will like a. Oh, you can see it's not positioned correctly. It's hard to change. This uh, my got <coughs> stands. You have to. Oops, let's see if I can do it. You don't need to rock, just press, basically. Uh, Oops, it's too too dry. When you when the paper is dry, it would uh, take the ink back. So you, you lift it uh, right before it gets dry, but not too early. Too early is not. Timing is most important. And I have some uh, stance uh, because I moved it, repositioned it. It's not uh, working. That's why I give you like a ten ten coupons, right? You have more multiple prints. So you can use uh, up to. It's nine. really good to see how to recover from mistakes. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, especially yeah. we just get discouraged if we are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you made mistakes. That makes me feel. Oh better. yeah, yeah. We are humans. <laughs> yeah, I don't show them this uh, on the video. <laughs> you will see very clean, very <laughs> like. Uh, I will edit it out. <laughs> no, no, this is good. Mm, okay. You should know how to recover. Yeah. Okay, so just do it again. But this, this time, make sure I, I align one side very closely. Maybe the drawing's not even. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I tried to make it. Uh, but you don't have to, uh, because I'm going to modify the borders. As long as the symbol is in the middle, that's all I, in the center. That's how I care about. The border would be uh, modified. 
What you need? Um, nothing. I just wait for the time. So you have about ten seconds. That's the timing. So just do it before it gets completely dry. Okay. Um, if it's completely dry, you will, uh, the ink will come off back to the paper. So now it's, uh, it looks good. So all I need to do is uh, uh, follow this uh, join closely to connect the, the border. And the corner should be rounded. Maybe. It'll, the black will be cut up more, so I just... Uh, So you want the sky to be connected to the hand and the sun. It's so like a half circle. To the sun. And the, the feet standing on the ground. Connected. This is the water. I think that's okay. 